Welcome to the first tutorial on using SignProx. This tutorial will cover the basic features of SignProx uh, to get you started collecting uh, asset database. So the first thing you'll need to do is double click the desktop shortcut to launch SignProx. Alternatively, you can run it from the start menu under the SignProx folder. Once you've loaded the program, uh, it's come preloaded with US state boundaries. You can add your own uh, shape files uh, to fit your needs, but in this tutorial we'll basically just use this as a guide. It's already preloaded with a sample database. You can create your own using the file menu and database, but we'll just use the sample for starters. So the first thing you'll need to do is right click and choose add sign. This will pull up a assembly form which will let you add the basic features to the assembly, whether or not it's damaged, any comments, some advanced features, um, it'll pre-populate the latitude and longitude as well as route, mile point, and address if you have the wizard set up for these features. You can also add images from a webcam, although we do not have one configured at this time. That'll be another, uh, another tutorial. So, the first thing you might want to do is add a sign to this assembly. This form represents the post that carries the signs, and when you click Add Sign, it will pull up a form that is preloaded with several METCD approved uh, signs. Uh, you can also add your own custom signs uh, in the using the main form in the custom sign tool. So let's say we wanted to add a stop sign and a four-way stop. The easiest way to find a stop sign would be to filter by shape. That'll give us an octagon. Here you can either click the Add button or double click the thumbnail. You'll hear Tone that indicates that the sign's been added uh, to the main form. And now we can go ahead and change that to no filter and now we're going to search for a four-way plaque which we'll know will have a background color of red and we can easily find it uh, using the thumbnails uh, and the ID and we will go ahead and simply click add and close because that's our last sign and now that the signs added to the form we can drag it beneath the stop sign to indicate its relative position and um, click the save button and that will add a point and if you hover over it you'll see the sign you created. You can do the same thing for several signs uh, throughout your network. Thank you for joining tutorial number one.